So if you get something like uh, like that, okay, and again, acids, these are all the aqueous conditions. You always write acid, and you're gonna get half credit already. And so there's just two different types of elements, hydro, phosphor, ic acid. So we've got the hydro and the ic, phosphor would be the stem name, the root, the core name. Okay? So that's what two, you just have to follow that pattern. Uh, when it's more than two elements, like this, this would be a polyatomic. That polyatomic is called what? Acetate. This is an acetate ion. And so, acetate, AT endings change to ic. So that's why this is called acetic acid. So the eight changes to an ic, gets acetic acid. Let's find another crazy one. Um, There's one. This is, what's this called? Carbonate ion. So carbonate goes to carbonic acid. Let's try another one. Let's make sure we're getting this stuff. What's that SO3 called? Sulfite. Let's write that down. That's sulfite. Since that's IT ending, we change it to us. So this is sulfur us acid. Okay? Make sure you got your spelling down. Usually for naming, the way we grade it is minus one for each mistake, and they're typically worth about two points. Okay? Yeah? When you use hydro is when it's a binary, meaning two different types of atoms, H and I, H and P, etc. But now you see in these last three, we have more than two. There's four, there's three, three. So then in those cases, no hydro. And the absence of hydro tells you it's a polyatomic. Is that all right? So if you saw, for example, we gave you the name and we wanted the formula, we gave you phosphoric acid. Without the hydro there, you're automatically thinking phosphoric is talking about a polyatomic. Ick means it came from an eight. So that's from a phosphate. So to go backwards, you would say, oh, phosphate, PO4, three minus. This is gonna go with an H plus to make an acid. I need three H pluses, so it'd be H3, PO4. Is that okay? If it was hydrophosphoric acid, uh, then it's this one up here. Totally different looking. Okay, and it's just from that prefix hydro that tells you that. That's it. <coughs> Uh, just to make sure we've got some of this down, if I gave you this, <coughs> what is that? That's right, this is not an acid. An acid has to be neutral. So you would not call this like sulfuric acid or something like this. This is just one of your polyatomic ions. Hydrogen sulfate. Okay, is that the correct answer? That's not. What am I missing? I have to put ion or it's an incorrect answer. Okay? So, for example, if I gave you uh, this, what's the name of this? Is that correct? No. It's a, it's a metal, transition metal. <coughs> I have to put the charge if it's a transition metal. So just make sure if it's an ion, you actually label it ion. It's not going to be, this is not an ionic compound, this is just an ion. Okay, if so if it has a non zero charge, that's what it would be. Okay, let's talk about oxidation states because it is similar. For oxidation states, it's just basically doing a little algebra. So let's try an easier one. Uh, <coughs> Okay, I want to find the oxidation state of phosphorus in here. So I'll underline what I want. I want phosphorus. In this case, you can kind of uh, figure out a couple things here. What's the charge on Mg? Yeah, 2 plus, plus 2. What's the charge on this thing? Yeah, 2 minus, minus 2. 
uh, that's the hydrogen phosphate ion. So you can actually, and uh, this is what I recommend, just ignore that one. You know that H, this is just this ion. So, if I, so we're still working on phosphorus now. What I would do is say, well, there's a hydrogen plus a phosphorus plus four oxygens equal overall charge of minus two. Hydrogen, what's its typical charge? Plus one. Phosphorus, we, that's the one we're looking for. Oxygen is? Negative two. Now you just solve this equation. So phosphorus plus a negative eight and then a plus one equals minus two. Phosphorus, it looks like minus seven equals negative two. Change that over to the other side. Uh, seven minus two, that's gonna be plus five. Okay, which is not to say what you predict from the periodic table. Usually you guess minus three from the periodic table. But a lot of these can have multiple charges. Okay, so did you need? Yeah, uh, yeah, what you're saying is essentially true. Uh, he's saying, why is that true? Is that because the oxygen is more electronegative? Essentially, yeah, we're assuming, which is not necessarily true, that all these bonds are ionic. In that case, oxygen would have more of a negative charge, causing the phosphorus to have to take the positive charge. Uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Genius idea. What's the name of this craziness? Magnesium, what's the name of this? Hydrogen phosphate, three names. Magnesium, first name, middle name, hydrogen, last name, phosphate. So hydrogen phosphate ion is one of your ions that you'll see in on page 21. Yeah? If you were to shoot it, you would just make Yeah, you could include Mg if you wanted to in this formula right here. So you go Mg plus, and then this would just equal zero. Uh, if you take stuff out, it kind of simplifies a little bit. I can give you, I'll just give you one more and then we'll move on. Uh, ooh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. I love this right now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's find the charge on cobalt. Okay? Doesn't matter what it is, you apply the same principles. Now, here's where your question that you got, like, what if I include everything? Here's an advantage where you shouldn't include everything. So, for example, here, what's the charge on this one right here? It's just water, so zero. Okay? What's the charge on this one? Minus one. So we have. Now, if we just ignore this middle one, because it's just zero, it's not going to contribute everything. Cobalt plus three negative ones equal overall charge of zero, because it's zero right here. Cobalt uh, minus three equals zero, or cobalt equals plus three. Oops. So cobalt plus three, which is one of its common charges. OK? I ignore the water because it's zero. OK. All right, yeah. Uh, we, you'll learn how to name that in 2C, actually. Yeah, yeah, so don't worry about it. It's coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's eminent. Yeah. Uh, as far, do, does it matter how you write it here? No, this is just your own personal algebra. Uh, but when you're writing the ion, yeah, you should be writing it with the number first and then the charge second, so two minus, yeah. But as far as your algebra, I don't really care. All right, uh, let's go back uh, to, oh, that's bad. Let's go back to this. We did naming it in oxidation state. Uh, let's do limiting reactants next. Okay. For limiting reactants, uh, let's get a reaction going here. Mm, uh, uh, by the way, what kind of reaction will this be? It's a double replacement. You'll learn another name for it.